Every day at Our Lady of the Angels Monastery in the foothills of Virginia's Blue Ridge Mountains, the 13 resident nuns gather for prayer. Theirs is a simple Christian life of worship and meditation. The sisters also follow the Benedictine tradition of combining prayer with work. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Sister Barbara Smickle co-founded the monastery 25 years ago. We feel that the work is, in, while not the most important part of our life, it's a very, very important part, that we use our bodies and the gifts God has given us of mind and heart and body to, um, to support ourselves. They support themselves by making cheese, specifically Dutch-style Gouda, in a barn just down the hill from the monastery. They begin the cheese-making process early in the morning with a large amount of warmed, pasteurized milk. Here we go. Sister Maria Gonzalo Garcia adds a starter culture to speed the transformation. After half an hour, she adds a synthetic rennet enzyme which separates the milk into solids and liquid, known as curds and whey. But this, this is the, the magic time, <laughs> because it either sets up and turns into cheese, or it doesn't. Now it's up to the Lord to uh, turn it into cheese. Today, the magic works. The cheese mixture is pumped into a giant vat, where it's pressed into a solid block of cheese. At this point, a machine could take over. But the nuns prefer to do everything by hand. They separate, weigh, and pack the cheese into bowls for a final pressing. Perfect cheese! It's very much a community effort involving all of the sisters. We saw a video one time of cheese made in a big factory in Holland, all computerized. My comment was, poor little cheese, never touched by human hands. So ours is all day long, touched by human hands. The finished cheeses are soaked in salty water, cured in a refrigeration room, and dipped in wax before being shipped out. Customers can buy cheese directly from the monastery, although most are sold through mail order. Eric Gertner comes in and buys 300 to 400 wheels a year to sell in his specialty food store in nearby Charlottesville. We have right here in our backyard um, a cheese made in an ages-old monastic tradition, and they're doing this to support and sustain their spiritual practice. So it's just it's such a beautiful story. And we try to put a lot of that love and prayer into the cheese, and I guess we say that's the secret ingredient. <laughs> Praise the Father, the Son, and the Whether it's luck or the power of prayer, the sisters have never, in the more than 20 years of monastery cheese making, had a single bad batch. Amen. Julie Tabo. VOA News, Crozet, Virginia.